free tips on how to beat procrastination. And guess what? It's not by decluttering. Among having a messing room, procrastination was a serious problem. Like, I ruined a lot just because I procrastinate and probably never gonna finish. So there is Nike with their just do it. In theory, it's true, but in practice, it's kind of hard. Like, it feels impossible. I read books, I watched videos, and I decluttered down to not having a mess. But I still procrastinated until I took these three steps. Building habits. The bad news is it takes time. It's not an easy fix and it really is up to you. There's no golden rule to this, which then will solve all measurably all your problems and you won't procrastinate anymore. No, that's not like it. But if you keep doing it, it will natural. So this is how it works. You start small. For example, I wanted to learn handstand. So I started with four times a week because that's how I felt I could do. If anything got in the way or I got six, six three, four weeks a time seems totally doable. And I started it and after one or two months I built up and built up and after three months I actually got to do a handstand. But guess what? It didn't work in the first week, it didn't work in the second week, and it didn't work in the sixth week. It takes really some time, but once you build a habit of doing small and achievable, you can actually go for it in the long run, and that's also what it is. The first thing to making it a habit is by keeping it small, and but still not so small that you're like, oh, this week I did one handstand and now I expect results. That's not how you're going to do it. You have to do it consistently, but still keep it small so it's still a good thing. Which brings me to the next tip. Have a to-do list that suits your nature. You might not have the energy for like six times a week. That's okay. Let's try four or three times a week. And when you feel like you can do more, then you can still up your game. There is the saying about um, the North Pole um, monitoring there, and the British team and the Danish team, I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the British team was like, okay, in good days, we will work as hard as we can. And in bad days, we just stay still or try the one we can manage. And the Danish team was like, we do only 30 meters, 30 meters or, or 30 kilometers um, a day, not more, no less. Doesn't care how the weather is, we won't do more or less. And guess what? The British team not only did not really succeed, they weren't first, but they also died. So the Danish team made it consistently but to their nature they think they was doable and in the long, it's, it's always on the long run. So they did it. So keeping it small but still consistent and making it a habit of doing so. You wanna impregnate in your you want to imprint it on your daily life so you become like it. Which brings you to the third thing, change your mindset. Let's for example take to, uh, trying to lose weight. Uh, you want to lose weight uh, because you want to be feel more better, you want to be more healthier. So the end goal is not to lose weight, but the end goal is basically to be healthier. And to be healthier can be done in no time instead of losing weight. Losing weight is dependent on DNA, on your body and on a lot of things you don't have control over. So the overall goal you can do now and enjoy now, do that and the rest will follow. And don't be impatient, it will come. Like I took three months for handsets, I guess 
probably some people could do it earlier, but still I manage it. The outcome if it's on two months or three months doesn't matter, I still got it and I still can do it and I still can progress with it. So implying it to your, to your mindset, changing your mindset and not being let go, but also about what's the overall goal and then improving that so you can so the goal actually will be like a side gift for your action overall goal. So think bigger. So you see, procrastination is basically a doable with three things. Uh, with consistency, keeping it small, and thinking bigger about a bigger picture about it. So you have progress on the long run. It's not a solution to do it now, but you can do it now, but it's not a solution to, like I give you these three tips, and after these three tips you automatically do. There are some days I didn't manage it, but I keep track on it and I don't beat myself up about it and do it alone. So like when you lose weight um, and you had a bad day, you eat pizza. Don't beat yourself up about that one bad day. Think about the next day. But what? here's what some people will do. They had a pizza and then there's a weekend and they were like, well, whatever, I already had pizza. Let's throw this whole weekend on the bus. And they will just have a hard time. So here is my five, two cents on how to beat procrastination. I hope you do good. See you on the next week and type down in the comments what you think about it. Bye!